Hello everybody, so new update on the V12 project. So uh, in the previous video I uh, did the exhaust build underneath the car. So if you didn't see that video, have a look in the playlist. There you can find uh, the building of the exhaust and all the spot welding. So now this is the, I start from the back to the front. So this is the last piece of the exhaust, so the end buffer. What I'm going to do now is uh, weld up the, all the all the spot welds through, so all the bends that I welded in, I've all used all small lobster pieces, so it's about 7 pieces to make 90 degrees, so there's a lot of welds in here to do. So uh, what I'm going to do is using a TIG welder and uh, backing gas argon just inside the pipe to uh, get backing gas on the inside of the welds. You need it because if you don't do that, you get sugaring on the inside when you weld uh, stainless steel. So you don't want that, you want uh, a nice weld also on the inside. So I put some backing gas behind it, I float the pipe through, close it off with aluminium foil also on the ends, put small holes in it so it can flow a little bit. So uh, I use about uh, one liter a minute backing gas to flow through. So first I flow all the air out, then I put it on one liter of backing gas and uh, that's how I'm going to do that. So, if you want to see the build of the exhaust, go one video back in the playlist, which was that, and come back to this one. So, if you like it.
sections connected together, midsection and end section. To make sure all the couplings will fit when they're welded, so uh, it will fit. So, got it now here. Got the uh, put the gas back out on the, in the back. Backing gas. Let's blow a little bit. And I started welding from here to the back end. So, let's start. So I got the four downpipes out of the car. So uh, these are from the manifold to the collector next to the transmission. So these are coming down. I'm going to weld all the spots. Everything going to weld it. Put it back in place and then put the center section in and have a look if it will fit. Otherwise I have to do some modifications. So uh, the perfect way to weld an exhaust is of course I don't do this every day. Is that uh, the best way is to start in the front of course and then weld everything through so you don't have any uh, metal formations like uh, if you weld stainless steel it can be deformed a little bit so there's a little bit tension on some pipes so I, I want to change that and if you start in the front and then build it backwards there's less uh, you don't have that less because you modify the exhaust uh, the way that it so if you weld it and then, so I have first, so the best way is to start when you make these down pipes and then go backwards, first weld them all off and then the midsection, build the midsection, weld them completely then and then go backwards. I think that's the best way to do it. So uh, I need a little bit of modification, not too much, but if you do that in the other way, you don't have to do that. So let's start. Finally done the exhaust. Everything is welded, and uh, I had to do a little bit more modifications. I put the down pipes back in on top, both sides. They came out pretty good after welding. They moved a little bit, but uh, I put the exhaust underneath the car, and that 
it was a little bit shorter than uh, before the welding so I had uh, no room in here so you can see that's pretty much one and a half centimeters that it's, it was shorter uh, it bended of course because when you weld the metal is deforming so that was happened so I did a modification here I put uh, a small pipe in between here and this one I welded new in so it's now fully connected without any tension on the pipe so that's pretty good so it's still I got all the room in here it's still about a centimeter that's enough because the engine is not really moving a lot I have to do some insulation uh, things to make sure that nothing is getting too warm also on this side there's enough space in here so it's all like I want it to be fully welded now everything so I've got enough space on here it's about a centimeter this one also the only thing what now is a thing is that it's if you can see that that piece that is touching now the frame so I have to cut about a centimeter or bend it a little bit more so it will not touch the, the body and that's it so I'm pretty pleased with it so now for the next uh, video of course uh, the brake lines and the fuel lines so I hope you like this particular video it's a little bit uh, extra than uh, with a normal fabrication of the exhaust so I thought it was nice to film a little bit so um, if you have any comments or suggestions of course then uh, leave some comments below and uh, if you don't don't really subscribe yet in the right corner use my logo you can cut over my main page and uh, subscribe to the page and see you for the next video so thanks for watching bye bye